Well, I'm back in my office, having just had my task set. I uh, thought I'd take a little bit of footage just to show where I do actually work. Uh, so, yep, yeah, this is actually me walking over the Thames. Under boats that way. The Albert Bridge. As we walk down, because it's low tide, so it's very steep. My office is just hidden by this huge ship. Uh, we've got a helicopter pad nearby, so you can probably hear the helicopter in the background. And I'm already starting to get quite confused about the task that I've been set. And uh, there's my office. Task, obviously, well, to me, uh, represents good value to the business. Um, what's going to be interesting now is seeing if I can get some buy-in for it, um, seeing if they'll allow me the resources and the time. I'm sure they will. Uh, I don't know really what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, I think the first thing I've got to do is get this to the MD, tell him what's going on. So my initial thoughts on the task really are around um, speaking to the chairman, making sure that um, he buys into it, and then getting directions to who was involved in all the due diligence uh, historically, and see where the IT stuff fits into all that. So hopefully there's quite a lot of groundwork um, in various aspects of it, and I've just got to add the IT stuff into the into what I perceive as the blanks and we'll see where we go from there. So I've been having a think about uh, my, my tasks. The, in summary what they are is uh, it's a two part, two part task in fact. The first part is to create the IT side of a due diligence involved in the acquisition of a business which is something that we've done in the past. I've been through one, I, I, I got roped into the, the, the latter stages um, and we're planning another one. So this is going to be a useful exercise. The, the, second, the second part of that is then the 30, 60, 90 day plan. So what one has to do um, in those first 30, 60, 90 days. Uh, so I've been having a big old head, I've been having a big old head scratch about it, big old think about it. Um, first thing I did when I got back to the office was I ran it by the managing director of the group. And he's the one who I basically got permission from to do this. And it turns out he's also the person who is in charge of acquisitions, has been in the past and will be in charge of the next ones. He's really the one who steers them. So obviously the first thing for me to do um, was to say, right, when can we sit down and have a chat about it? And unfortunately that's not until next Monday, which is already day six of the task, uh, out of the two weeks allocated. Um, so I said, right, as a, as a useful starting point, uh, perhaps I could see the documentation around these. Uh, I got a fairly short reply back. It said, documentation. So I'm starting with a clean slate. Uh, <laughs> should, should be interesting. Having a chat with our financial director, who, who's, who's very new in the company. He's, he's one of the most recent joiners, in fact. Um, it turns out he is tasked with a similar, uh, a similar job. So uh, there'll be a certain amount of dovetailing, although he won't be starting on his yet. So it turns out this is quite a nice opportunity for me to really be the person who um, who actually instigates this entire area of documentation for our business. Should be quite exciting. Uh, it should also mean that I'll get some nice buy-in from the people who'll be appreciating me doing it, particularly the FD and the Group FD and the Group ND. Well, I'm now a few days into the task. Uh, I've been compiling information uh, from internet-based research and also internal conversations. Uh, the other day I was, I was lucky enough to be um, on two flights with our Group MD. Uh, so I had him f um, for four hours. And as the man who heads up our acquisitions, he was a particularly useful resource. I also had a short amount of time with our chairman. We spoke about the post-acquisition stages the 30, 60, 90 day plan as it is in this task. Um, and what he highlighted, which is something I hadn't actually considered, although I was vaguely aware of it, uh, was the, uh, the value of internal branding, um, establishing relationships with new staff and new colleagues, uh, really, really getting them on board, trust, communication, um, it, it, it goes a long way. And in terms of internal branding, uh, making sure that when you're introducing new systems, make sure that people understand what they do. Because the new systems aren't just a bunch of tools, but they also go a long way towards reflecting the company uh, culture, the ethos. 
I also think most of the resources have failed to pick up on how much value there is in all the pre-acquisition stages. I, I can't emphasize strongly enough just how important I think it is to really be prepared before they get that go live date. If you know exactly what you get, well, if you know exactly what you're getting, um, not only has it helped in the completion figures, um, possibly saving quite a lot of money, but it also allows you to know which fires are going to be burning the hardest on that first day. Um, what it means, I think, is that the more you can do before the acquisition, also then means that you only have to go around and quickly, I say in a rather blasé manner, uh, quickly check the facts. Um, but if you've got the information, you can run around, check that you, the information is correct, and once you've done that, you can really get on with things. And I think that overall, the way, the way it's looking to me as I, as, I, as I work on this project is that it means that there is less to do from that go-live day. Uh, it takes less time. And I think it will actually cut down quite significantly the implementation tasks that need to be carried out in that 30, 60, 90 day plan.